Hi guys, my name is Mo Smith. Ryan and I are going to be here today talking to you about stretching. And as you know, here at Bailey Medical Center and the Center for Bariatrics, nothing is more important than safety. Our goal as your exercise specialist is to get you to your starting line, which is surgery date, as safe as possible and healthy as possible. So Ryan and I are gonna be talking you through our 10 basic stretches. All right, for our first stretch, we're gonna be incorporating the calf stretch. You can hold on to a chair or a wall or a countertop. So today I have a chair in front of me. And what I want you to do is place one foot directly behind you and press through that heel, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Each stretch is going to be for one minute. So, you know, alternate your stretches on each leg, 10 or 15 seconds, and then switch sides. Inhale and exhale. Push through that calf stretch, through that heel, elongating the calf, the Achilles tendon. They're gonna have you up and walking within two hours of surgery, so we want to prevent those muscles from cramping and aching. Hi everyone, we're gonna stretch our hamstrings now, so back sides of the legs. Those can kind of get tight when we're just sitting around and not moving, you know, sitting at our desk at work, things like that. So to do this stretch, we're gonna sit up straight in a chair, Keep those shoulders back, scoop that core in. I want you to take your hands and we're gonna hold on to the backs of our legs. So to do this one, we're going to bring that knee up just a little bit and we're gonna straighten that leg out. Come back in and set that back down, making sure that we're breathing through the entire stretch. Now, if we need to come up just a little bit and maybe just come out here, that's fine. Or maybe we need to use a band or a towel to assist us on bringing that knee back and straightening out and come down. So we're gonna get about 10, 15 slow repetitions on one side and about 10, 15 slow repetitions on the other side and we're set. For this next stretch, this is called the back stretch. So what we're going to do is take a deep breath in through the nose, interlock those fingers, palms facing away from you, and as you exhale, round out the back and push away. Then release, shake it out, and repeat. Inhale, exhale. This is a really good stretch. If you've been sitting at your desk all day, hovering over the computer, inhale and exhale, push away, and release. Our next stretch is going to be for our quads, so the fronts of our legs. Can I get those fired up a little bit, especially if we've been walking quite a bit, you know, for our other exercise, this is gonna help as well. So what I want you to do is get your feet about hip width apart, so sometimes it helps to kind of rock into that get those feet planted, we can take our hands out and we're just gonna get a little squat. We don't have to go 90 degrees, we don't have to touch the floor or anything like that. Just get a little squat, stand up, make sure we're breathing through the entire movement. So inhale, exhale on the way to the top. We wanna get about 10, 15 slow repetitions and we're set. Now. If you need an option, we can always come back to a chair, keep our same hip, hip width apart placement, and do the same thing. This is the hamstring, muscles behind the leg, and our abductor stretch. So what I want you to do is sit on the edge of your chair, nice and tall, abdominal scooped in. Extend that leg forward, press through the heel, so you're stretching the calf all the way up through the hamstring. Now, it doesn't have to be really high, it can even be just combing the floor. I want you to bring that foot back in, extend the other leg forward, flex the foot, open and close, and place it right back down. Each movement in these stretches are going to be one minute each. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, open, close. This also helps with your hip flexors and our outer thighs. One minute. 
So our next stretch is going to be for our lats and our triceps. So back and then back sides of the arms. Those definitely get tight when we're sitting at a desk at work or we're watching TV hunched over, things like that. So to do this one, we're gonna stand, get your feet set, shoulders back and down, make sure that you scoop that belly button in, scoop that core in, and all we do is we come up and exhale on the way back. So inhale coming up, exhale on the way back. I call this one my Superman stretch. So we come up like we're taking off in slow motion, we kick that cape back and we're flying. Get about 10, 15 repetitions and we're set. Okay, for the next stretch, this is our back and chest stretch. Ryan likes to call this the slow clap. However, I like to call it the incredible Hulk crush. So what we're gonna start with is our arms out in second position, if you're a dancer, or out to the side making a T. And I want you to do your own resistance and squeeze your chest and your muscles nice and tight. And then you open up the chest and squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Exhale as you squeeze or slow clap. Inhale as you open and squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale as you squeeze. Open up the chest. All right, so now we have a shoulder stretch. Again, we get tied up at desks and we can kind of hunch over and we want those shoulders to stay back and be nice and stretched. So for this one, we're gonna stand up. Again, shoulders back, tuck that core in. So what I want you to do is kind of, kind of grab that ball, hug that tree, fingertips together. We're gonna breathe in and exhale on the way down. So we're just gonna take this stretch up as high as we can comfortably and then release. We're gonna get about 10, 15 nice and slow repetitions. Make sure it takes you about 60 seconds, and we're good to go. This is your neck stretch, and I want you to have the opposite arm reaching in opposite direction. Tilt the head down to your shoulder, release. Take the other arm, place it on the other side of the head, and tilt to the shoulder. Now, if this is a little bit uncomfortable, you do not have to do the resistance of the hand on the side of the head. You can just exhale and tilt. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale and exhale. One minute each stretch. Inhale and exhale. Again, if you want to step it up a little bit, and go into an advanced stretch, go ahead and grab the temple on the other side. And a little tug and resistance there. This feels really good to help relieve the tension in the neck too. Okay guys, so next up we have a core stretch. So, abdominal muscles, our lower back, especially the lower back. I know for me that can kind of get bound up a little bit. So this is one of my favorites. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an exercise ball or you could use a basketball or a soccer ball, anything you've got on hand. You could use a pillow even. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that ball. We're going to get our shoulders back. We're going to push that ball forward. Keep it a little bit higher than the belly button. And we're going to twist to the side a little pause make sure that we're breathing through this entire stretch and over so over to the side nice and easy we get our core stretch in 